Hey Scorpio, I feel like I need to do a reading for us today. So here I go. There's a few other signs that are on my lineup, but I just felt my Scorpio sister being so brave, waiting and waiting for me to get through those others. And here it is, our birthday season. All right, Scorpios? So, for that Scorpio sister and whoever else may come here, let's see what the cards have to say. We're going to start with a Queen of the Moon Oracle card. And we'll go from there. So, you have faith. This is a good card for winter, for the shortening days. To have faith through darkness. Perhaps you're going through a passageway. I feel that. And it may be hard to feel hope sometimes, but this says have faith. And it's very much faith that is in the earth. There's just so much that we don't understand about our planet and how it is resilient. And so that's what I feel from that. We'll see what else comes from that. Wow. Okay, so we get beauty. I'm saying wow because these are the same cards I got for Libra. Um, perhaps they are giving us a broader message. Also, abundance. This is another image that reminds me of the Empress. Um, also... I think of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt in the woods. And fear. There's that fear. There's that darkness. There's you locked inside in your mind going wild. So that is what you need to walk through. Knowing that you are divinely supported. And that from this darkness will come beauty. That's kind of a big reading for you today, Scorpio. Let's find out more about that. The Pride Tarot also wants to give you a message, which is actually just popped right out of here. It is the card of the messenger. So it's somebody who has a leadership position who is speaking publicly. Hmm. I don't know what that card means in this deck, and I'm going to go ahead and read what the messenger is. The messenger is usually the Hierophant. Um, it says, aha, the Hierophant. Which, for queer people, the Hierophant being associated with organized religion, uh, we want something else. We want that teacher, that guide. So the messenger card portrays Genesette Gutierrez, an activist for transgender rights and immigrant protection. She is the founding member of La Familia, Trans Queer Liberation Movement. The messenger articulates three levels of consciousness. The physical plane, where you interact with the ideas, culture, language, and people who surround you. The astral plane, where transitional energies and the spirits of your ancestors reside. And the institutionalized plane, where your hopes, fears, and values are prescribed by authority figures. The messenger asks you to question those foundations that are based on fear and submission. She asks you to run between physical and astral planes, questioning the roots of the situation and excavating the parts of it that keep you sound and allow you to breathe. The parts that rally your people and your connection to your community. The messenger asks you to lead by offering truth and elevating the voices of the unheard. Yeah, so just a very minor phase that you're in, Scorpio. Wow, very powerful. All of these planes um, together. I'm a little shiny. I just got clean. Pardon my shininess. <laughs> Ooh, what's on the bottom of this deck? Uh, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's so much of this mix of power, energy, knowing your worth, being in, carrying that message, an army of lovers cannot fail, but also the kind of need for security and the fear of, of pain that is the Ten of Swords. There is some darkness and pain here also. The Five of Swords, how this can manifest in ways that are also self-harming. Um, where the truth needs 
to shine its light here. And I, I uh, not to overlook the beautiful Queen of Pentacles, who I think of as much like the Nine of Pentacles, except she is not solitary. Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles comes across for me as about security, but she's also very much about the earth and embodiment here as well. And the nine, Knight of Wands, that very passionate, fiery side. This is Mars, which is traveling through Scorpio in its home, one of its homes right now. So this is a lot going on underneath. Maybe those things will come up again in this reading. Okay, so as we are in Scorpio's solar return, I'm going to give you an advice uh, reading with the, um, the idea of what do, what do we return to and look at after a year has passed? So thinking back to a year ago, where, where were you, Scorpio? What has changed? And um, so to notice that you have come a long ways already, um, but it appears that there is still more to go through and that you must have faith as you walk through. It could be just the wintry darkness and you're a sun person and you miss the sun. Some people get melancholy this time of year. Or it just could be that that's a very comfortable place for you. Being at home, Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, let's see. There is a big thing happening. Let's see what the cards want to tell you about your big birthday month here. The Return of the Sun. We're going to use Four Hoxa which I've been using lately, MJ Coulinon, and then I'm not sure either the Light Seers or the Wise Dog Tarot wanted to talk to you. Both of them kind of want to talk to you, so we'll see what it feels like after I pull these cards. So the first card is, what shall you release? The Elder of Earth. It would appear that you have succeeded somewhere in the earthy realm of, you know, your empire. So you've been working on that, and there's something to release there in it. Um, she is the king of pentacles in other decks, so remembering that we saw the security queen here, that's her counterpart, the elder of earth. So the elder of earth brings that security, can be counted on um, to have a plan. Um, it's also very much about the 3D abundance, can be about career, money, home. So that's something that you, it looks like you've accomplished this, so it's good to move on from that. So what do we, what do we embrace, Scorpio? The Ten of Earth. This is a very similar, sort of the end of an Earth cycle. Uh, this is a very, these, these cards next to one another, you know, their maturity in the Earth cycle the pentacles but you can see is a very different kind of darkness leadership and here is just being within the beautiful world that you have created and enjoying it and i'm learning that in these months here of winter when people that lived by agriculture it's a time to rest you have harvested and now you wait until the earth is ready to be farmed again and so in these dark months there's many things that you can do with within the household within the but it is a time to be with your family and to rest so maybe that's what i'm getting here um, i do see moving out of darkness and into this beauty and all these ladybugs i see that is like super important all of these ladybugs they they are always a good sign Okay, now let's look at what we're returning to. What happened a year ago? That's what this card is about. There's some kind of justice. A need for it, a lack of it, a lack of balance, a need for balance, or that a year ago you found balance. We, we can see here in this image two doorways, two swords, Justice as blindfolded and those magnificent antlers. I see the snake 
very important image of transformation that was very Scorpio. So, so this would be a year ago when you turned whatever you turned last year. I turned 50 last year. Um, yeah, and I ha a lot has changed and I have found balance. Um, so I can, I can look back. It was very hard. Turning 50 was not hard. I loved turning 50, but what was happening in my life, particularly my career, was very painful. And it felt like a lack of justice for me. So thinking, think back to your year ago and what comes up for you, Scorpio. So it's pretty cool to think about how far, how far I've already come on this journey, which, yes, it doesn't feel clear yet where I'm headed. Um, I don't know how you feel, but maybe you feel similarly. Okay, what the tarot wants you to know. There is a new beginning. Ace of Earth. Very new 3D embodied little sprout there being offered up to the light. I feel like this is what waits beneath the earth, beneath winter. And the tarot says, this is hidden from you now, but know that it is there. It is hope. It is a new start. It is a gift. Yeah, and it is waiting for the other side when the light comes. Okay, and the future is a four of earth. Very, so much earth here, Scorpio. Hmm. The four of earth is very much about what you've made. It's four little things. You're kind of holding on to it. Um, so it's, it's interesting. Like you've, you've achieved something career-wise or in the 3d realm. And now you're supposed to enjoy that reflecting back on how justice a year ago needed to be brought into your story. But there's, so it feels like you've finished, you've accomplished something that there's a new beginning and the future that we can see is a four of earth. It's a very intense, disciplined, clinging to just the four. And so it can be a little bit about feeling a need for control here. Yeah. But just remember, remember that an army of lovers cannot fail. So there is solitude in your underlying energy here. There's this going alone, and that's definitely in contrast to the lovers. Definitely feel these various planes of earth, and they're all showing up here in the underlying from the pride tarot. And and yet your baseline here from Four Hoxa is very earthy, very practical, very 3D. It's also very much about you're in the darkness and you can trust that the light is going to come back in. Um, I really want to know about this four of earth. It can be that you need to withhold your energy in some way in the future. Underlying here is another earth, page of earth. Ah, the high priestess. Trust what you intuitively know. Keep watch, night of air. So much underlying. And the five of water, again, that loss. You got, we see it in the ten of swords, five of water. This sad little mermaid who has lost, is regretting. There's the new, there's an angel behind her, or another fairy behind her, probably in this deck, holding a cup. There is a new beginning. There's definitely some loss here. And a new beginning that you're, you can see, but you're not yet seeing it. And then the fact is you're really enjoying your 3D world. It's a very powerful place that you are in right now, Scorpio. Okay, let's clarify. We're going to go with the light seers. Um, maybe the dogs will have something to say in the end here. Let's see. So let's see what the light seers wants to do. 
with this reading and show us further. We clarify with three three cards, Scorpio. Hmm. I definitely am having this feeling of um, disorientation, that there's all this new information and I'm in a new world and I can't quite make sense of it and I, I strongly want order, right? So like this four of pentacles future doesn't bother me because it kind of gives me the sense of like the way that a beginner can feel like, okay, I've got the, I've got a handle on this and I can kind of um, hold these four places. Like it feels like being adrift right now. It doesn't feel bad. There's a little fear that I'll never get my bearings, uh, but I'm just learning so much and it's exciting. I feel that ace of earth now that it's pointed out to me. I feel that new beginning. Um, okay, Elder of Earth, let's see. Let's see what you, what the cards um, have for you, my dear. This is a big thing you're going through. It's a proper birthday month reading. Okay, a couple of cards want to pop out here to clarify the Elder of Earth. One is the secrecy, the darkness. That raven there is speaking. It makes me think of the messenger. But there is like travel under the moon here. Often the Seven of Swords is like the thief in the night. I'm not getting that. I'm just getting you on your moon journey, kind of exploring your dark side. And um, that raven is the urge to speak from that darkness. Um, but I definitely feel how wanting to speak from that and share it, like the danger of it not being understood. And that that's why for that Scorpio mystery and secrecy, um, okay, so there's a two of wands here as well. This is you looking towards the light, you envisioning the beginning. It's a, in the willpower wands. There's another wand here to take. You're holding on to this one. You can see the earth and the little Volkswagen. There's, it's a card of manifesting here. And taking it slowly. It's a slow process the knight of pentacles you're doing it right you're doing it with discipline but you are walking away unencumbered here just notice we've had some themes in this reading already of you kind of having some security issues coming up um, this knight of pentacles is just dropping everything extra it's a paring down and it's a slow and gentle process and he walks barefoot on the earth leading his horse instead of riding him this is um, a lovely Knight of Pentacles energy. So this is you walking away from the darkness of this really powerful um, coming to maturity of maybe being responsible for a kingdom. An elder is a leader. Um, so you're, you're getting to move away from that and to something that you have manifested. And as you do that, you get to unload all of the things that no longer fit into your life that you don't need to be burdened with um, in that gentle knight of pentacles way. And, and here you are with what you have built. This is your home, your family, your community, your 3D world, your garden, your house plants. And you get to, you're being told to embrace this, embrace what you made. And I, yeah, I definitely see you've walked away from darkness. You're being told that you can release that. And you've learned something there. And it's allowing you to envision the world that you want to live in and what you can let go of. So that's your release. So what your embrace is a ten of earth. So what, are, what else are we embracing here? Three of swords. A process of feeling that pain, whatever it is, it's not over. I see that here plenty in your cards. Embrace whatever it is you must grieve. Embrace this loss. It's a painful, there's pain to embrace. There's darkness. That's why there's fear in this moon journey. I saw, I saw it also here as the Ten of Swords. There's always a new beginning. This Ten of Swords is extremely 
graphic ripping open of her body. Her head is leaving her body. So there's a separation of your body and your mind within the Three of Swords. So it's um, it's kind of dissociative um, in both the Ten and the Three. But they're also both is a it's a phase that you move towards healing from in the Three of Swords. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Ten of Earth, Five of Wands, creative, competitive, conflict. No leadership, no order. That's the feeling that I, I can really relate to, like not having my bearings. Um, that's funny. All of this is just to remind you, I have cut off all my fingernails like a good queer girl. Um, yeah, this is clarifying this. This looks so lovely and, and serene. Maybe this is what is preventing you from just relaxing right now. And there is action. Eight of Wands. Communication. Action. There's definitely an urge to communicate here. Hmm. I feel like I need to keep clarifying further, but underneath what you're supposed to embrace, there is pain, there is conflict and disorder. Um, there's a great deal of willpower, like you're exerting yourself. Others are exerting themselves too. It feels like, yeah, if this feels like you you moved from this chaos into like, okay, everybody point in this direction. This is where the creativity is going to happen. And the reason that this has been hard, this collaboration, this action taken in union, is because there has been a betrayal in the past. Like you've worked with people or there have been people who broke your heart. It makes it hard for you to align with others. It's all, There's always the risk when you align, when you invest, that you will um, be disappointed and hurt. And you know, we Scorpios, we are, Sassy Scorpion says we're the most loyal sign in the Zodiac. It's very, very difficult for us to quit even when we're hurting. And um, yeah. Certainly hard to start anew. So justice a year ago when you turned whatever you turned a year ago. Remember your last birthday season. So let's see here about what's happened here since. So there's that ten of swords that we saw that in your underlying. You can see she is walking towards a new day. The birds Air in the suit of swords represent your thoughts, painful thoughts, leaving those behind as you walk towards a new beginning, which drops out of the deck as well. A new divine gift. And let's see, where did I see that? Um, that Ace of Cups is in here somewhere. <laughs> it's in the Five. We saw the Five of Cups, which I've lost. When did I see the Five of Cups? Well, anyway, I saw the Five of Cups somewhere. And I have lost it. But anyway, here she is again. The divine, the fairy that was offering a gift was in that card. And here we can see there is that new beginning. Uh, it's an emotional beginning. So you got your... So there's... It's in the emotional realm, in love, a new beginning since a year ago there you are on the bottom the king of the cups probably was just a card on the bottom of four hawks uh, yes there it is that's the card that's the card i'm thinking of the there's that ace of cups thank goodness that was very weird feeling okay and <laughs> finally hermit so you got severely hurt a year ago and you accepted a new offer or you you received a divinely a divine gift and it allowed you to go inward and look to yourself and look to your light and here we find our own inner wisdom our inner truth our sense of our worth as well and that is, reiterates this image here the high priestess is another way of spiritual knowing and seeking. 
here. Okay. So that was a tough year you got through, Scorpio. <laughs> and so as we see you embracing your accomplishments in this beautiful world that you have built as a result of how you've lived your life, you, we can see that you went through pain and that the inclination is to work alone and to be like the hermit because it was very painful. But you did take a new offer of the heart. It was a genuine heartfelt offer. You've accepted it. And um, it has restored justice since last year. And that, that sees you being yourself, King of Cups, at peace. So what is hidden from you? We've talked about this, this new 3D, the Ace of Earth, that little sprout under the winter soil. You can know that that is there. Much like the Ace of Cups came to you when you were broken hearted last year, there's now an Ace of Earth, a very practical 3D new beginning. Just waiting for the light to hit it and the sprout to come up through the soil. The Hierophant. This is the messenger that we got from the Pride Tarot. And I like this Hierophant too because this is not like the Pope or some institutionalized religion. This is this laughing, joyful, spiritual teacher here. This is a part of what, of the light, a part of the divine gift, the, this little sprout, this real thing that is coming to you is there for you. It's, perhaps you have a teacher. Um, there's another beginning, an Ace of Wands. So you have a cup, an, a pentacle, and now a wand. The only thing you lack is the Ace of Swords. Maybe you don't need it. I see the Page of Swords is here. The Knight I see the knight of air, the knight of swords, receiving the truth here. Which makes me actually think of your nine of pentacles, because she very often has a bird of prey with her. Action oriented. What else do we have here? There's, their, there's your king of pentacles again. Your elder of earth that was your release. Nope. This is the same card. Here we can see this chill dude with his familiar sitting out the nice winter months with that pentacle. So there's definitely some kind of mentor or leader that is, is, has something for you um, ahead. I feel like it's, it's not yet coming to the surface, but it's coming. Um, there's already an idea in this leader's, teacher's mind to offer this to you. Um, that seems very, like a very clear, intuitive message to me. So trust, have faith. It may be the earth or the divine. It feels like a big power like because the higher fans here with the king of pentacles so it feels not like close but like a an institution or a teacher something outside of your little family your little life um, so it could be spiritual or material in your material world okay so your future we got this little Four of Earth, little four of Pentacles. Kind of feeling like you have your bearings is what it looks like to me um, in the future. Maybe because of this offer that comes in that stabilizes you in some way. Um, is that Eight of Swords? Not a comfortable card, definitely feeling up in your head. That might be why you're clinging hard to this Four of Earth. The truth is you're free, but it feels like you're not. Um, there's your Knight of Swords again. Remember we just saw the Knight of Air. Quick, fast movement, truth-based. 
Make me angry. That's a lot. Here's your head, Scorpio. A head. Um, and finally, the Emperor. There's more institutional power, but it's also a kind of decisiveness and that and the stubbornness that of the four of earth. But the emperor is, um, yeah, I feel like you handle some kind of head trip, some this darkness in the future, how far ahead I, it actually doesn't feel like, I feel like the ace of earth is the more distant future, the thing that's hidden, but there's this period that you're going through of being in your head and being anxious about your security and feeling stuck, trapped, like the Eight of Swords, um, wanting to take action from what you think you know. So that's that's a feeling here of you're learning something new. You want to feel like you have control over it and that you can um, deliver it. You want to speak from this new knowledge. I actually don't think you're ready to speak about it. You're not ready to be a teacher. That will come. The Hierophant will, will come. You as the leader, as the messenger, have faith. You will become competent enough to do that, but you're not yet going to take time. And so just feeling comfortable with that, that's not easy to feel comfortable in. Especially the older we get, the more accustomed we get to being good and um, authoritative about what, you know, like the emperor is authoritative. Um, yeah, and you're in a hurry to be that. But you're not, that's not, it's not time for that. It's time for you to, to do this, to just enjoy what you've made. Relax through this winter. Trust you're going to understand you're a beginner. There's lots of beginning here. And it's beautiful beginning. And there's a kind of high priestess way of knowing here that's intuitive that you can cultivate so that you can just calm down and trust. But the messenger tells us you were working on all these different levels, pulling together very complicated information. And Trust. You have abundance. You are in a, you're you're in fear. This is so much like this card, the Eight of Swords. This little cage here. Um, this feels like the, that feeling of being trapped with your mind, the bird cage, and, and this mirror image. Um, so that's just your head. Um, and you want to move out of this discomfort. Yeah, you want to move out of this discomfort, but unfortunately, you still need to learn. You need to become um, even just a journeyman here. You're just a novice, and that's okay. It's good to be a novice. It's good for your, your brain to learn and push and, and feel out of your depth. Um, there's your Ten of Pentacles that, that is your Ten of Earth that you're supposed to enjoy this, right? Right now, there is you rising to the next level, judgment. Um, you, you know, you keep on this good track and you you will get to the next level. I too often think of it as a video game because my little Scorpio, littlest Scorpio sister is uh, often teaching me how to do video games. Um, it's how we hang out. And trust you will have the clarity of the Queen of Swords. You're going to know. And she's also kind of goes for me with this energy of letting go of the things that no longer serve you, of releasing that. She's very good at using that sword to remove people, things, ideas, stories that that do not serve you. So that's, that is here for you, Scorpio. Okay, since these dogs wanted to be in here, let's just see what they want to tell you. Let's just say, okay, dogs, what's your message for Scorpio? Let's pull three cards from the wise dog tarot. See what they add to this little reading. It's actually a big reading. Oh, okay. 
We've been given three cards. They have popped up out of the pile. This is a new thing in my reading where cards pop out. And um, yeah, so that's been kind of cool. Well, there's you healing. The Four of Swords. That is a card of healing, of going alone privately and kind of assessing your ideas. Uh, there's you with the Three of Cups. You and your friends. It can be some kind of reconciliation. And there's that Knight of Swords. There's that eagerness to carry the truth. I do notice that the Knight of Swords has the truth. So this is the Knight of Swords. We've, you've got the Knight of Swords here three times. I feel like this is the wise dog tarot is like, you need to talk more about the Knight of Swords. This is a very truthy, intellectual urgency uh, to carry this truth. When I look at the table, you haven't actually received the, um, the Ace of Swords yet. Yeah, that's the one thing missing here is, um, is the clarity. There's a King of Swords. There's a King of Cups. Magician. More repetition here on the bottom. Ace of Cups. Wow, there's a lot. The dogs have so much to say to you. So much repetition. It's just going on and on. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, to get into that. But the... But the basic idea is you need to chill. Take a winter. Take the dark months here until the light hits the earth and awakens this seed, this ace of earth. You get to relax in with your, with your, my gosh, okay. You get to, re until this sprouts. And this is you, the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, this, um, this inspiration that you're feeling inspiration this is going to burst forth from the earth until then you know relax rest I feel like you're not resting Scorpio I feel that about for myself so I thought of that on my walk today like I'm studying I'm learning it's all such a amorphous mess and so I feel like I'm not producing, I'm not making things. So then I feel like I'm being lazy or irresponsible or something, but, but I'm not. I'm in a period of learning. And um, so just play with your friends, be at home, be with your, in your 10 of pentacles, 10 of earth place that, that we've seen a couple times here. Um, and Notice that this Knight of Swords is lying down. This looks very much like my dog, although he is blonde, not black, waiting for me to get ready to move. <laughs> There's that little crab, Cancer. Um, there's a lot of water in this Knight of Swords. Cancer is also the card of the chariot. It's like a momentum. Um, but this dog waiting impatiently for spring to go play, to go bring that sword out to play with others in the midst of a hurricane. Yeah, this is a, you can see the trees are blowing back there. <laughs> That's the level of, of energy that you have around carrying this message that the Knight of Swords has. Um, yep. What's missing? I feel like there's still something that I, haven't grabbed here for you. I think what I just want to say is missing is we see this Ace of Cups a few times in a few ways here. Um, but there's mostly all the other suits on the table. There's few cups, few emotional, um, emotionally safe balance the ace of cups is big and we've seen her twice um and we see, we see her though still in this five of cups it's like where i feel that you are and so the three of swords here and the ten of swords here a couple times you're still healing your heart and you know gosh darn it i'm sick of healing my heart i'm sick of being um protective of my heart but 
maybe that's what I'm in a rush for. Maybe that's what's missing here. You know, I'm always in my head and the swords ready before I'm truly ready here. So that's, I guess, the other message here. Um, an army of lovers cannot fail. You don't have to do this alone, but you might be feeling inclined to do it alone this winter, and that is okay. Take time, you will heal. There's plenty of healing and the need for healing here still. And if you think about how much time you put into the thing that broke your heart, give yourself at least half that time to heal your heart before you open it again. And, um, and you will, you will, and it, and it will be, um, it has been offered to you. And I feel it's protected. You know? So that's okay, especially after a ten of swords. Okay, Scorpio, let me know. I hope this helped. And um, if not, I'll catch you on the next one. Um, check your other placements, your moon, your rising sign. Uh, if I have posted those, I can't promise I will um, do all of the zodiac. Sorry, this is just my side hustle. If you can call a, uh, a hobby that doesn't make any money a hustle, can you? Get something else out of it. I get to connect with you. So have a great day. Bye-bye.